Forbidden Knowledge, Gods of the Bible, Anat. Throughout the Bible, there are many mentions of other gods that tempted and swayed the children of Israel against the God of Israel. In this continuing series, Gods of the Bible, we will go over who these gods were, where these gods came from, and how these gods affected the Bible. Previously, we discussed God's favorite god, Resheph. Resheph, one of the main gods of the Canaanite pantheon, walks behind the god of Israel in his war council in Habakkuk 3. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty, he judgeth among the gods. The gods know nothing, they understand nothing. They walk about in darkness, all the foundations of the earth are shaken. I said, you are gods, you are all the sons of the Most High, but you will die like mere mortals, you will fall like every other ruler. Anat Anat, or Anath, is a well-known Canaanite war goddess and a part of the main pantheon of gods in the ancient Canaanite cult of divinity. Although Anat is not directly mentioned in the Bible, her followers are mentioned in the Bible on a number of occasions. The cities of Beth Anath and Anath, along with the individuals such as Shemar Ben Anath and Adnath and Shada, are some of the indirect mentions of Anath. Despite the relatively minor role Anath has in the Bible, Anath's role with gods that heavily affect the Bible is of more importance. Anath plays an important role in the Baal cycle and is responsible for the kingship of Baal and the defeat of Yam, the tyrant sea god, and Ma, the god of death. Baal, the king of the Canaanite gods, greatly affected the children of Israel through human and child sacrifice. Yam, the god of the sea and his servant Lotan, are thought to be the Leviathan mentioned in the Bible. The god of Israel mocks Ma, the god of death, for his inability to defeat the god of Israel. And that is the ancient Canaanite god of war, and hunting, and that belongs to the main Canaanite pantheon of gods, and that is most likely the consort of Baal, but in other traditions this varies. As a war god, Anat was stronger than other gods, and Anat's mortal followers would at times attach Anat's name onto their own to show their association to the goddess of war. It is in this context that in Judges, and that is attached to an individual who was defeated in battle between the Kingdom of Israel and the Philistines. The cult of Anat most likely started in northern Mesopotamia. Worshippers of Anat would often offer burnt offerings of a ram and a bull to Anat. The cult of Anat spread to Greece, Crete, throughout Canaan, and was fully adopted by Egypt. One of Anat's most devout followers was Pharaoh Ramses II, who proclaimed himself as the beloved of Anat and often called Anat his mother, and even went as far as to call one of his daughters Bint Anat. At Crete, Anat's equivalent was Athena, and aspects of the two were merged into a more hybridized figure. Anat played an important role in the ascension of Baal to king of the Canaanite pantheon. The Baal Cycle recounts the god Baal's ascension to kinghood and the struggle he faced to obtain the title King of the Earth. Anat was an early follower of Baal and sided with Baal during the many conflicts of the Baal Cycle. Anat helped Baal overthrow Yam, the god that El, father of the Canaanite gods, chose as the king of the earth. Yam was a tyrant god that successfully defeated Baal in battle a number of times before Baal's ultimate success with the help of Anat. When Baal's position as king of the earth was threatened by Ma, the god of death, Baal faked his death and Anat destroyed Ma in a one-sided fight before his resurrection. Among the gods that Anat interacts with, the god of Israel is deeply entwined with as well. The sacrifice to Baal at the valley of ben Hinnom became a portal to Gehenna, the pit of eternal fire mentioned in the Bible. Yam, the sea god and his servant Lotan are mentioned in Job and have been connected to the biblical Leviathan, from which the god of Israel easily defeated. Lastly, Anat contended with Mot. Mot, the god of death, also interacted with the god of Israel when the god of Israel mocked Mot and took control over Mot's servant, the bird. Although Anat's direct role in the Bible is relatively small, her impact on the gods that did affect the Bible cannot go unnoticed. Did Anat help Baal ascend to a The human sacrifice really created a portal to the fiery pit, 
Isn't that still around today? Does Ball's reliance on that show Ball's weakness? Let me know in the comment section below. And for more Supernatural History TV, like and subscribe.